It's October 6th, and this is what happened during week 40 of 2013. And suddenly it's dark. How'd that happen? Another long day. Um, just crazy, busy, barely looked up. Yeah, I got to work, and next thing I know, it's evening. Not fun. And of course, I didn't get to everything I was supposed to do for my sort of classes. So I've got a little bit of work I need to do this evening. I have a lot more work tomorrow. Yay. It's Tuesday morning. I forgot to wrap up last night. It's also the last day I'm going to be commuting by myself because Rich goes back to work tomorrow. And I'm excited. Back to normal. Normal's good. It's even darker now than it was last night when I came home. That's because I came home lunch later tonight. But it was a good day, got a lot of stuff done. I'm happy about that. I only feel like there are three or four things I didn't get done today, as opposed to about the dozen yesterday that were hanging over my head. So that's good. That tail says you want something, don't you? Not paying attention to me. Oh! What do you want, Alice? Hmm? Come here. Did you enjoy it too? Even though I had to pry you out of your bed? I don't know why she's reluctant to eat in the evening sometimes. It's like she gets in that bed and doesn't want to get up, even for food. Which is weird, given that she's the fat one of the two. Getting tired. Want to go to bed soon. Happy Wednesday and back to work day. For somebody. Yeah. It's Chuck shirt day. I didn't plan this, but I guess so. Maybe I did. Just dropped off Rich. He's looking at his first day back with a bit of trepidation. But I think it's going to be good. I hope it's going to be good. It's really nice to be back in a normal swing of things. It has been way too long. You know, I say it's been too long, two months, that is a long time, but to tell you the truth, it kind of went by in the blink of an eye. Just, you know, it astounds me how quickly time passes. This traffic hasn't changed. Still annoying. Thursday afternoon. I don't think I have recorded all day. Just leaving school, it's still daylight out, so that's an improvement over the past two days. It's about 6.20. It was a hectic day, just dashing from thing to thing. I have a special event going on uh, that's related to school, and I've got to, I'm not doing the event myself, but I've got to check in on it, you know, as a director, department representative, all that kind of silliness. So I'll be doing that periodically throughout the weekend. We've also got visitors coming in this weekend, um, which you We'll probably see that in a few minutes, maybe. Yeah. It's very sunny. Happy Friday. Yes, it is. I'm trying. He had a frustrating day yesterday, but we're not going to talk about that. I just called the appliance repair store, and they told me that the machine was actually on the technician's bench as I speak. He's supposed to call it later to tell me what the status is. I find that kind of amazing. Three weeks, it's been sitting there three weeks waiting for them to get a chance to look at it. They're the only appliance repair store in the city that I could find. I guess it's a lucrative business, you know, when there's no one else, huh? These days, I guess most people's inclination is just to go buy a new one. And I might have thought about the same thing. Well, I did, but then I realized the replacements were gonna be like $1,500, so makes sense to try to repair it. So this is the damage that was done. Basically the rear bumper's messed up. There's a hole in it there. There's a panel underneath that came loose. And the head restraint is up all the way and forward. Light off for the passive restraints, and the computer says that there was a fault detected. Saturday morning, I'm just finishing up my coffee before I start to get ready. We've got the visitors arriving today. I'm going to head to the airport in a couple of hours to pick them up. 
There's been a lot of angst recently about the NSA, monitoring cellular traffic, phone calls, all that kind of stuff. People get all upset and talk about the nefarious possibilities. Don't get me wrong. I don't trust our government. I don't think they should be collecting this kind of information. At the same time, most of the people writing these horrible doomsday scenarios don't have an appreciation for the way big data actually gets used in the real world, which is to say, really badly. And I got two perfect examples right here. As you know, we got new iPhones because our AT&T contract was up. It had been two years since we got the 4S's, so time to upgrade, got the 5S's. We'd ordered them from the Apple Store the day they were available. They shipped, been activated, the whole thing. AT&T knows about it. Yet I get this letter today saying, oh, get a new phone. Look at all these cool Android devices that are available. You morons, you can't even read your own data. It's just incredibly stupid. And it's not just AT&T either. As you saw in a recent video like two, three, four back, I took the BMW in for its last service under warranty. And at the time, they were like, oh, you should replace your front tires. They're getting really low. So I did. I, they, I bought the tires from them and they installed them. But then this week, I get this email from the BMW dealer and it's reminding me that they recommended I have new tires installed and urging me to make an appointment to come in. Really? So that's why I don't really get upset when people talk about all these doomsday scenarios about the evils of big data and what government and corporations are gonna do with them. Corporations can't manage big data, I know, because I've been inside them. They make a mess of it. And I can't imagine the government does a much better job. I mean, yes, I know there's a potential threat so they shouldn't be collecting the information in the first place. But you, as an individual, really have nothing to worry about. They're just so inept. So I'm sitting at the airport waiting for my cousin Peter to call and let me know he's ready to be picked up because he's going to be staying with us for the weekend with his kid, son. Did you get a good shot? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> he says he got a good shot. Oh, yeah. I thought it was me. Uh, it's a lot bigger than it looks from here. What do you think? Awesome. Awesome. It's Sunday night, pretty late. It's like 11.30. I should be going to bed. It's been a busy weekend. Peter, Tucker here, as you just saw. What else? Had an event going on with school. So that wrapped up today. I had to go over there this morning and watch some presentations and help with judging it was good overall. I don't know. Don't have any words of wisdom. It's just a busy good week.